whenever in life you get started with your degree with your studies you know that a professional degree a vocational degree in whatever subject you choose will lead you to a destination which can be a probable job in a particular company so if you don't know the destination you will keep shooting in the wrong directions right well that has happened to me and that's the reason i always insist in knowing what is my direction what is my destination Here at Biotechnica, we were researching on the world's most promising bioinformatics startups in the world, which can be your potential destination for a job. And uh, today, I have that list compiled with me, so I'm going to share that with you. Now, to start with, what exactly is bioinformatics going to do? It is all going to simplify the way we study biology, apply biology, execute biology, or treat diseases. Now, in that direction, when you combine bioinformatics with machine learning AI algorithms, that is where you have a winner, a clear winner. Now, today's video, I'm going to try compile somewhere around seven to ten uh, startups who are, who are doing promising research, and number one among them is Celarity. Now, Celarity is a U.S.-based biotech startup, which is revolutionizing drug discovery. They are into AI-assisted uh, docking. They are into uh, drug discovery by targeting cell behavior instead of individual proteins, and uh, this unique approach which they are implementing is uh, helping them uh, combine high-resolution data, network biology, and machine learning to generate novel insights into cell trajectories, opening new possibilities for therapeutic discovery. So, Celarity is the number one company I would say in drug discovery using bioinformatics, network biology and AI assisted uh, reverse talking. And uh, if you are studying bioinformatics, this can be your one of their destinations. Now, these are hardcore pure bioinformatics companies. Of course, there are many uh, big pharma companies like Illumina and Pfizer who are also into bioinformatics. So I'm not including them. This is this video is only about startups. Now, the second uh, company which I, I would uh, include in this list is Crea Therapeutics. Now, Crea Therapeutics is pioneering gene therapy treatments for diabetes, obesity, and other widespread diseases. Now, their goal is to significantly reduce the cost uh, per dose and improve the speed to market for gene therapies, making them more accessible to the patients worldwide. And they are implementing a lot of bioinformatics into this. The next in the list will be Bionut Labs. Now, Bionut Labs is transforming the treatment of brain disorders. Now, you know brain is the most complicated organ in the human body and they are working on treating the brain disorders with its innovative approach using remote controlled micro robots called Bionauts. Now, these micro robots enable precision targeted medicine allowing for the delivery of therapeutic technologies like CRISPR-Cas9 gene therapy and oncolytic viruses in challenging clinical settings. And Bionaut Labs is probably the you know, only company which is doing this kind of approach by sending a micro robot inside your body and getting the drug delivery via precision medicine. So this is a, again a very fascinating uh, company and uh, you can always follow them on LinkedIn. The next one which is Spiderwort. So Spiderwort is harnessing the power of uh, cellulose-based biomaterials. So you know biomaterials are in huge demand nowadays to engineer living scaffolds for regenerative medicine applications. Now this proprietary technology which they have developed, it enables them to um, control over stiffness and shape and textures of the biomaterials and it is stimulates the tissue regeneration and offers newer possibilities for personalized healthcare. Now basically Spiderwort is also applying a lot of bioinformatics into their uh, research. So Spiderwort can be one of the companies which you can target for. The next one which we have is EQRX, which is committed to make drug more affordable. So they're obviously using AI, machine learning and bioinformatics. And uh, they've received a lot of funding uh, recently. And uh, they are uh, working on various, uh, they have various clients from pharmaceutical R&D as well and uh, they are trying to reduce the prices which the drugs have and that is where more drugs they are trying to discover using AI, machine learning and um, bioinformatics. The next one which we have on the list is Orna Therapeutics. Now Orna Therapeutics is addressing challenges in linear messenger RNA, mRNA therapeutic development. Their advanced technology allows for development of ORNA therapies. 
offering a superior system for produ uh, production, delivery and performance compared to conventional long RNA approaches revolutionizing the field of RNA therapeutics. So this is again a big place where bioinformatics can be used, ORNA uh, approach to the therapeutics and you can be there as well. The next which we have on the list is endogena therapeutics and it's a preclinical stage startup as we speak. It is using artificial intelligence to trigger stem cells in patients uh, for tissue and organ regeneration and uh, their groundbreaking approach to endogenous regenerative medicine has the potential to revolutionize treatments options for common degenerative uh, diseases and uh, that's a big big uh, approach which uh, best approach I, I believe for uh, going ahead with neurodegenerative uh, diseases as well and rare diseases so you have endogena therapeutics. The next one which um, is Omnipossible. So on, Omnipossible is at the forefront of XNA, which is uh, new to nature nucleic acids development. By modifying the DNA, so they are modifying the DNA and RNA, they are explore, exploring a wide range of applications in healthcare, IT and small materials. And this expertise of theirs, which, we, which they call it as XNA, encompasses genetic chemical synthesis and uh, directed evolution and bioproduction pathways. So Omnipossible is uh, doing something beyond the world, XNA, not uh, a natural molecule or DNA or RNA. They are trying to develop their own XNA, which will have genetic material and it will do some great things. And of course, bioinformatics has a lot of use here, a lot of applications here. So the next one which we have is Scalite. So Scalite specializes in accelerating the discovery of biomarkers from single cell sequencing and clinical data. Now they, they are using AI again to analyze complex data sets and providing crucial insights into biomarker and cell identity signatures ultimately contributing to disease and diagnosis of common diseases. So Scalite is like another company where you can get in if you have interest into biomarker and bioinformatics as well. The next one which I have for you is APTA Biosciences. APTH, APTA Biosciences. It is dedicated in developing anti-sense uh, therapy platform for diseases associated with gene dysregulation. We all know that most of the diseases happens because of um, gene dysregulation. So three, uh, through computational modeling and simulation, they have created virtual laboratory that expedites the process of drug development making it faster and more cost effective. So APTA Biosciences is another very good company where you can target. The next one which I have probably the, I think the 11th one which I have, Kinomika. So Kinomika is a British startup. It's a UK based company which offers interdisciplinary photophosphoproteomics platform called as K-Scan. Now by combining bioinformatics and uh, proteomics, they improve predictions of drug efficacy and uh, patient response to targeted therapies. Their reliable biomarkers and diagnostic tools have the potential to revolutionize personal medicine. So Kinomika is another British company if you are uh, placed somewhere in the European Union and you are interested in bioinformatics, you have Kinomika. Now before I go further into all the list of companies, if you are just getting started with bioinformatics or you want to learn bioinformatic tools and drug discovery, you can always approach Biotechnica because we have numerous uh, bioinformatics related internships, courses and online uh, projects which is going on, we can always make you a part of this. Next one which we have on the list is Cytocast. So Cytocast is a hungry uh, based company. It provides a powerful tool for generating unified models of human cells. Now their sophisticated algorithms helps them simulate the protein protein interaction initiated by drugs. So what happens when you put in the drug and how the proteins will react with the drug, that exactly it simulates. And it suggests the ben uh, probable treatment which can happen if you actually inject this kind of a drug. So this is like, uh, you know, you're not going into wet lab, you're doing everything in the dry lab and that's what bioinformatics is all about. So this innovative approach accelerates the drug discovery and enhances the precision medicine. So that's what is cytocast. The last on the list is MediSapiens and it is a South Korea based company which offers cutting edge healthcare database analysis solutions. Now their cloud based system constantly updates with the latest data with key genome databases allowing for comprehensive genetic testing and analysis services. So they are into uh, genetic testing and analysis services, services using AI uh, system and personalized cost cosmetic recommendations showcasing their commitment to personalized healthcare. So if you see in all the bi uh, this bioinformatics startups, 
there's something common and that is they have uh, either the drug discovery approach or the approach to uh, make gene therapy simpler make some other you know xdna xna or you know create a new molecule or predict the uh, potential of a drug all this will be sim almost similar uh, outcome wise but the approach will be different in each company so if you are pursuing a degree or a diploma or any kind of training in bioinformatics these are the companies for to look out for and you can always make a career a future in bioinformatics with biotechnica we have several training programs to help you equip with the future of bioinformatics bioinformatics is not a fad or a buzzword it is a real thing which is going to take the biotechnology world by storm learn bioinformatics with biotechnica and you have a champion inside you all the best